just really doing something new. So a little bit about my background though. Um, I started with a degree in behavior analysis, psychology, studying the psychology of the mind. I always just love the human body. I actually went to nursing school and I did that. And I was a conventional Western medicine nurse for many years um, until I got sick in my own physical body. My story is that I was sick in almost every organ system of my body from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. Wow. I had headaches that lasted sometimes a month with no relief, um, chronic migraines. I had brain fog. I ended up with heavy metal toxicity after being vaccinated in nursing school. Wow. Um, stuttered speech, just you know, inability to think clearly and those types of things. Um, they wanted to take my gallbladder. It was only functioning at about 40%. I was perimenopause at age 27. What? Um, just pretty much wow. most organ systems. Yeah, <laughs> most organ systems. Um, even from the time I was a child, I always had just bouts of gastrointestinal type things. And, um, I didn't really realize anything else to do except for do what the doctor said. Right, and that was take medication. And my second option was surgery. But there was a time in my 20s when I said, God, this is not what you intended for me. Mm -hmm. And I was at a conference and I grabbed a hold of a scripture and it's Jeremiah 29, 11. And it says, for I know the plans I, I have for you, declares the Lord, to give you a hope in the future. Mm -hmm. And I knew that that day that that was my scripture, that I wanted to grab onto that because I knew, knew that the things that I was going through is not God's plan for my future. Right. Um, the story is that years later, that scripture actually turned into something a little different for me because I was able to grab onto that scripture um, as a place of hope. But then one day I was able to see that and really put my faith in God and say, you know what? God does have great plans for all of our future. And he actually turned my pain into his promise. And I was able to go um, back to school, I studied functional diagnostic nutrition, I studied energy healing, I studied how the human body works, how food is medicine, how God really designed our bodies to heal themselves naturally. Yeah. And that really, he gave me a term wholeness right before I published my book. Um, and he said, you're gonna understand wholeness at a different level, understanding what you were created to be in spirit, mind, and body. And that's truly what I offer my clients today is a deeper understanding of how the, how the body works, how we yeah. are spirit beings, um, and how we have to manage our minds too if we want to receive complete wholeness in our body. So I was able to heal my body naturally using the things of this, of this earth. You know, God intended us to. I'm on no medications. Um, I ended up with a couple surgeries, but I still have all my organs, thank God, even though they wanted to take them. And now I really just help clients do the very same thing that God did through me, um, teaching them how to heal their body naturally through His ways. I love that. I, I do have a question. This this question comes up a lot. You know, there's a lot of, um, and this is not part of. We didn't talk about this before, but um, uh, this just this question is, I think, is important because I, I'm just curious. You know, they have, they have all these supplements out there that people sell as far as like take this then you know um whatever you know they have different like juices they have you know pills they have all kinds of organic um you know what i'm talking about and then right. a lot of people you know say hey this will change your life this will you know buy this you know so forth so tell us from your experience and in, in this based on on your knowledge and the things that god has revealed to you do we need all that extra stuff or is this something that we can get naturally from just going to the grocery store and picking organic food, you know? What is your um, uh, say on that? Yeah, so it really depends on the person and the body and the level of toxicity from what I've experienced. So I think that we live in a toxic world. The world that we live in today is not this same world that our ancestors lived in. They were able to pick organic vegetables from their garden and yeah. they were full of nutrients. And the problem is, is so many